Kane was livid in the last message she left for us. I'll save you the pain of sitting through it yourself. This exchange from one of her quorum hearings will better explain our position. Colonial fleet's continued breaches on the Sagittarian border cannot be left unchallenged. We agreed to an alliance of federal representation, but not at the expense of our individual sovereignty. Sashenka, you and I both know that no one else would dilute their own fleet for a colony that would not defend itself. I agree that the Border Patrol must be reinstated, but until someone else volunteers, that responsibility must fall to Colonial Fleet. They broke the embargo to begin with. Colonial Fleet is blundering their way through their own war. They are categorically unfit to police domestic legislation. It is the only option available for now. Give the quorum time to find another solution. In the meantime, Admiral Kane's team can prove the integrity of Colonial Fleet to us all. A star group has been detected. Launching fighters. So say we all. Greatest contact. Hostile IFFs have jumped near the fleet's patrol route, Commander. Colonial fleet of all the empty patches of space. Feels like no matter where I turn, there you are, standing over us. We're here on quorum business, enforcing the border you made us break. A prisoner cannot force their guard to do anything they didn't already want to do, Lieutenant.
want Geratus contacts. IFF confirms only one is non-hostile with a civilian transponder. Afraid with an unregistered military escort. As long as they remain on this side of the border, we should send Marines to investigate. Of the freighter. It belongs to a cancer and shell corporation. The cargo manifests show food, sanitation kits, filtration systems. We have to let this through, right? Is Colonial Fleets now the arbiter of basic human needs? My people starve and sleep in their own filth, while the Capricans pat themselves on the back over how generous they've been. But don't you worry, Commander. We have friends in high places, too. People who will share their dignity with us when our own government won't. You just need to turn a blind eye here, and no one will ever know. He set this whole thing up. Either the SCU breached their embargo right under our noses, or we have another confrontation inside of Sagittarian space. Oh, while well, someone from Cancer and abets the whole thing. I don't doubt the actual delivery Thune wants us to see are those warships. Dreadus contacts have appeared inside of the embargo zone. IFFs are mixed. Emergency hail incoming. Commander, that had better be you out there. These SDU jackasses aren't taking kindly to my leaving, or that we've stolen their ship to do so. The radicals on that ship are not your friends, Sherman. All they aspire for is for Kane's meat grinder. I'm just looking for a way off your backwards rock. Anything else these kids do out here is on you. Don't act so surprised they've decided to shoot back at the guy who taught them how. The revolutionaries are naive. They don't know the devil they want to deal with. I thought you understood better than them. The embargo border has been broken. SDU units are weapons free. Action stations!
plating and taking and pounding, sir. Marks are down. The cancer crew on the freighter have been detained for questioning. There aren't that many colonies that could back channel this many hulls. I would bet on Pythia's tomb these ships came from somewhere within Winutu's complex. If not the minister herself. We've all heard the rumors, right? No one doubts that cancer used to offload discounted hulls to Torin and Sagittarian rebels. Do we really believe a profiteer like Winutu wouldn't continue to do so during wartime? Unless either of you have hard evidence, that's not an accusation I'm willing to make. Commander, you'll have my report for Kane and the Quorum within the hour. Clear zone attack. Priority one is in Firing solution. 
position is all mine. Escort clearance zone is active. Switch his gun for manual. Firing on target. 